Special programming here. I want to introduce you to uh, a volunteer that we have, uh, somebody that I have a special connection with, uh, Kamir. Come here. Uh, if you could, you're a retired professor from uh, the Island University, but I interviewed you back in 2011 when I first got here. You were doing something pretty extraordinary. Yeah, it was 2013 actually. Okay. <laughs> and I was going to Athens, Greece to run my 100th marathon. So you <laughs> interviewed me at your 5 o'clock uh -huh. program before I went. And then after I return from Athens. Well, this is what we call full circle because yeah. now you're, you're continuing. You've retired, but you're doing something really special volunteering here. Why did you feel the call and, and what do you do? I retired two plus years ago at AM Corpus Christi and uh, July 2021. I started volunteering at the food bank. I like it. I come here every other month, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the morning. As of yesterday, they told me I had done 525 hours of volunteering. Wow. It's a good thing to do. I encourage people who have free time to help. And, and anybody can do this? Anyone can do this. And I have developed expertise in inspecting, sorting, unboxing, donated food items. And I've met wonderful people at the food bank. And uh, so it's been great, great experience. And I plan to do that. Well, thank you for visiting, sharing your story. It's great seeing you again, 2013. Thank you for, for dating me. I feel older now because of this. But wait, look, it's a great cause. Do do what everybody can do, and that's just stop by, or as we've been mentioning, that QR code, you can just point your camera at the screen. If you haven't done that yet, take out your phone and see what happens, a little magic that connects you uh, to such a great cause for Share Your Christmas. We're going to be here throughout the morning. Don't go anywhere. I say morning, but 10 o'clock, so don't go anywhere. Our special programming. Um, oh, and we do have a special guest, actually, right now. So thank you, sir, for coming in. We appreciate it. Leslie, okay, so... Okay, we're going to continue right now. Uh, we have Leslie. Uh, Leslie, tell us a little bit who you are and, and, and what you do. Okay, so I'm Leslie Estes and I own Cerrito Farms. I'm home to a large outdoor market that we have about every three months. Um, we have food trucks, vendors, about 100 vendors. Um, I decorate a lot at my house and I have a home decor shop that is about to start reopening. And so uh, Michaela reached out to me and asked me if I would like to uh, do all the decorations for the That's what you were doing when I got in this morning. I saw you kind of giving B a little tour of what y'all are up to. Yes. Why did you feel it's important to come out here and be part of this? Um, well, when she asked me, I just, uh, so I have five children, and so I don't always have a lot of time to uh, volunteer and do like I should. So I thought, well, this is my perfect opportunity. So as she said earlier, it's a privilege to be here. Well, thank you for coming out. make it so beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it does look wonderful. And what's great is you also have the, uh, the giving tree. I mean, this the giving tree so people yes. can come out and get their names on plates yes. if they donate uh, yes. just an opportunity to kind of showcase that hopefully keep this up year-round maybe yes hopefully so my wife always wants to keep the Christmas tree up and decorate it for every season any tips on that oh yeah well I think just a tree with no decorations and the lights that can stay up all year round oh, yes I love it so. <laughs> I love it okay look we're gonna be here throughout the day don't go anywhere we have a lot more of share your Christmas coming up after this